The Duke of Sussex is suing the Mail and Sunday whom he claims were responsible for distortion and misrepresentation of the facts with an exclusive story about his police security. Harry's lawyers said in the paperwork of a new libel lawsuit that the meaning of the Mail's article was that he lied in his initial public statements. His legal representatives claim the defamatory piece described how Harry tried to keep his legal fight over bodyguard secret then claimed minutes after the Mail and Sunday broke the story his PR machine tried to put positive spin on the dispute. Harry's lawyers claim the article is said to have inspired a feeding frenzy of hostile comments aimed at the Duke. As a result, the 37-year-old royal has reportedly suffered serious damage to his reputation and substantial hurt, embarrassment and distress which is continuing. As well as causing the Duke stress and emotional upset, his lawyers say the piece also undermines his charitable and philanthropic work, particularly his efforts to tackle online misinformation. Royal biographer Angela Levin reacted to this new lawsuit, claiming the Duke's admission makes him sound so fragile. She also made reference to Harry's previous experience serving in the army within her reference to the case. On Twitter, the royal expert wrote, Harry says he suffered increased upset and distress and injury to his feelings over press comment on 24-7 protection for him. He sounds so fragile. Where has the brave soldier gone and how can he think he's the only one who's had sad feelings over the last two years? Prince Harry served in the army for 10 years, rising to the rank of captain and undertaking two tours of Afghanistan. He continues to work in support of his fellow servicemen, through his Invictus Games Foundation. The foundation was launched by the Duke in 2014 and aids current and ex-servicemen through sports and utilizes the tagline using sport to change lives. The Mail on Sunday was the first to reveal that Harry was seeking judicial review of the Home Office after the decision was made not to provide police protection for him and his family while on UK soil. Shortly after the article was published in January, the Duke's team sent out a statement confirming the Duke was seeking judicial review. The statement noted, the Duke first offered to pay personally for UK police protection for himself and his family in January of 2020 at Sandringham. It later added, he remains willing to cover the cost of security, as not to impose on the British taxpayer. Additionally, his lawyer said, the UK will always be Prince Harry's home in a country he wants his wife and children to be safe in with a lack of police protection, comes too great a personal risk. His legal reps added, Prince Harry hopes that his petition after close to two years of pleas for security in the UK- will resolve this situation. It is due to a leak in a UK tabloid, with surreptitious timing. We feel it necessary to release a statement setting the facts straight. The Duke is suing the newspaper over the coverage of the lawsuit through the High Court, in London. Associated Newspapers Limited, the company that publishes the Mail on Sunday, is defending the claim. Prince Harry, Meghan Markle have been issued a warning because of their showman antics and experts have advised the duo not to partake in attention-seeking stunts during the Queen's celebrations. Royal L commentator and expert Jonathan Sacerdoti made this claim in a candid chat. The chat revolved around the possible implications of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's UK return for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Thus, Mr. Sassardotti began by telling us weekly's royal yes, I don't personally imagine Meghan coming to the UK very easily. But at the same time there is a chance that she may prove me wrong but people here have such a low opinion of her if not of both of them these days that I think she would be very brave to come back to the UK. But I do still say that if they could come back and if they could not be front and center, Keep it quiet but just come back to help celebrate not just for the Queen but for the whole country then that will probably be very nice and it might rehabilitate them somewhat towards the British people. I don't really think that's their style anymore, the expert later went on to admit. They don't like to do things quietly, they don't like someone else to be the center of attention when they're around and I think that where Harry and Meghan go, it's the Harry and Meghan show. Hence, it probably would be better if they didn't come and steal the limelight from the Queen.